Oh, what a heartbreaker. Uh, you know, hats off to our seniors, uh, Kayla Brewer and Molly Hetty. Uh, you know, Diamond Henderson came out with her A game with uh, offensively, but Coach Davis always says basketball games are won and lost in the paint on the free throw line. Uh, they got more often, more free throws than us. They had 20, we only had eight. Uh, that in itself says a lot about the game. For, uh, for the 40 minutes of the game, I bet the Golden Eagles led it 38. But, boy, that last play, talk about that last play defensively. Seemed like the Golden Eagles had it defended well. It was just the fact that a, a bad bounce ended up right in Jacksonville's hands. And that's, you know, that's, that's basketball. Anything can happen. But I tell you what, when it's on the line like that, you get the ball. And um, Mariah Ding was there, and there was a shuffle on the floor, but it went Jacksonville State's way. Um, you know, I, there's really not much you can coach about that. You know, and the ball's on the floor. Everybody needs to get there. This was a team, not to make any excuses, but, boy, a couple of key injuries through the year uh, with uh, Shanice going down, also with Takia going down, and that certainly changes the makeup of this basketball team. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, not having a real true point guard. Hats off again to Diamond Henderson for stepping up to that plate. That is a hard role to play, especially for Coach Davis. <laughs> but, uh, you know, when you lose your leading rebounder, Takia Williams, that hurts. I mean, you got to get on the boards, you know. So uh, no excuses. Uh, woman down, woman up. So you got to step up. There's more opportunities there, and that's what we talked about in the locker room. Talked about it every day. And uh, Tion and uh, Takia have done a good job being leaders. Uh, you know, not, since they can't contribute on the court. So, you know, next year it, it will be. You talked about the seniors on this team, Kayla. She played here only one year, but boy, it looked like she was really coming into herself this last third of the season, especially. Yes, Kayla Brew is an awesome athlete. Uh, you know, she has really contributed, especially with blocking. Uh, and on defense, uh, you know, we really thank her for, for choosing us to come and play her last season with. Uh, she will be missed, but, uh, you know, we have uh, Takia coming, getting her back in. We'll hopefully we'll get her get our, our blocks back and, you know, more rebounding. And then what more can you say about Molly Hetty, the, the outstanding young lady she is. I know a lot of people know her story. Last two years especially having to deal a, a nursing career with uh, – with basketball, that's not the easiest thing to do. She comes up just short of a thousand points, but an excellent career for the Golden Eagles. Yes, Molly is someone I would love to play with. She is the ultimate teammate. Um, you know, leadership it, it happens, and and talk is cheap. She leads by example. Uh, she's on time when she needs to be. She works incredibly hard on her game. She knows her weaknesses and her strengths. Uh, we will meet. Her, we will miss her greatly. Uh, Molly is an awesome person, as all the young young ladies on the team. But Molly Hetty really really just was special to us and uh, we will miss her greatly no doubt about it now to be out on the recruiting trail what's going to be the needs of this golden eagle team well we need some power we need some power players we got to get someone to get it done in the paint uh since tion is getting her knee worked on we'll be looking for a point guard obviously someone who will come in and lead hopefully looking the junior college route with a little bit of experience um, definitely like our speed. Uh, I'm excited about Hannah Goolsby, what she'll bring next year. She's done a good job as well, but uh, a little bit of everything. Uh, looking, we already signed two good signees, uh, both from Georgia. Uh, they could play the one, two, and the three, actually, so that's exciting, and they're, def they're defenders. So um, we're hitting the road. Absolutely, Coach. Wish we could have had a better outcome today. We appreciate you under tough circumstances coming out here and express to Coach Davis and all the young ladies a, just a wonderful season uh, that I get to go with this team as much as I can. I enjoy yeah. it, and we'll look forward to doing it again next year. Well, I really appreciate you, and this is coming from Coach Davis and the whole staff. Thank you, all of our, all of our fans. Thank you for being here. Uh, thank you to our marketing department putting all of those signs outside of this building. Tennessee Tech is being noticed here in Nashville, and that is a huge thing. Uh, love all of you. Thank you, uh, Mark, our dire uh, director of athletics. Thank you for everything. Thank you for our president being here. We just, I love Tech. We have good people, and we're going to come back next year strong. Absolutely, Coach. Appreciate the visit. Good luck. Thank you. As uh, the Tennessee Tech loses here today, final score uh, 57 to 56 as uh, Coach Bath visiting with us here after this uh, basketball game this afternoon. It's Tennessee Tech uh, today, a one-point loser. Back to take a look at the final scoring and the final stats after the 60-second break on the Golden Eagles Sports Network.